Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, to all my subscribers, I truly appreciate each and every one of you. To those who are visiting, hello. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. As I say to the subscribers and the visitors, please feel free to go to my, um, my playlist. In my playlist, you will find a variety of videos that has been categorized by topics that you may find interesting. For those who are new to my channel, it will also give you a pretty good idea of what this channel is all about based on the topics that I cover there. And then of course, you can always just go to watch my videos as they're uploaded daily. Guys, so I have a really important message that I need to share with you all today. And it is about the importance of truly having a relationship with the Lord. There's a lot of people that's going to end up falling away, falling away if you continue to allow negative thoughts, negative feelings to close in on you. All the enemy needs to do is just make a little deposit, a little deposit a day, a thought, a feeling. And if you do nothing about it, if you're not engaging with the word of God, whenever, you know, when Jesus was in the wilderness, when Satan came and tempted him, he always would give him the word of God. And if you don't know the word of God, I suggest you grab a Bible and get some something. <laughs> look through those Psalms, look through the word. There's something you know. Even if, it's, even if it's just the Lord is my shepherd, you know something. Because what's happening, the enemy will sift you as wheat. He'll just take his time and sift you. You know, I think about like flour. You know, my grandmother used to have the flour and she put it like in a strainer and she'll just shake it and shake it. And even though it took a while, <laughs> it was doing something. And so it's the same thing with the enemy right now. You have to get up and pray. You have to get in the word of God. You have to fast. You have to fast. You have to fast often. The more you're fighting, the it's more likely that you need to fast often. At the very least, setting one day out of the week aside. You know, there are times that right now I fast once a week, but there are times the Lord will call me to like 30 days, you know, absolute. And that's several times in the year. So <laughs> guys, this battle is not for the weak. And if you're not rooted and grounded in Christ, you're going to find that you are the weak. If you are not, it's, you know, I remember someone says, we're not all as strong as you are. Uh, what does that mean? It has nothing to do with it. What do you mean you're not as strong as me? Are you serving the same God? Because it has nothing to do, the word of God says the battle is not for the, the swift or, or the strong. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with, I know I am weak, so I can't afford to be far from God. That's what it is. I've had enough of sin. I've had enough of the games of Satan. I know how he roll, and I'm not trying to go back that way. And you better believe that when you're walking with God, don't think you can just go back to the enemy. It's going to be all, ooh, ooh, no. You know too much now. So in many cases, you're going to be better off dead to him. Let's go ahead and cash in on him. Let's go on and cash in on her. So she won't even think to go back because you know too much. You see, you, you've been on the side of, of God. You've been on, on the side of the army of God. You know too much. The enemy knows that that word can spring up within you at any time. He knows the word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow. And it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So he knows the power of the word. So you want to go over there with him and, and backslide and go on over there? I'm here to tell you that he's going to cash out on you because he's not going to allow the word to spring up. You have to make a decision. Are you going to serve God or not? And I'm not trying to be mean or insensitive, my brothers and sisters. I'm not. But you have to decide, am I going to serve God or not? It is not a feeling. I get tired like you guys do as well. I feel weary sometimes just like you all, but I don't allow those feelings to hold on to me. And I know, okay, this is going, I need to get up early. When the Lord's telling me to get up early, I need to get up early. I need to fast. Okay. 
I need to be in the word of God. I need to not watch anything but the word. I need to hear the word as I'm sleeping. I need to hear the word throughout my day. I need to be obedient to the Lord. I need to make sure that I'm not holding on to, to any type of, you know, have any type of animosity or anything towards anybody in my heart. If you're not rooted in Christ, I'm telling you, this going back and forth, the things that you've been doing over the last few years and the things that you've been doing and, you know, leaving God for a spell, for a season, you're, you see, the enemy gets you very comfortable in that cycle. So he go ahead and snatch you up because you always feel most people that go back and forth with the Lord, they always bank on forgiveness and they bank on, oh, it's going to be just like it was the last time. I'm going to fall away and then I'm going to come back and then, you know, it's going to be good. So the enemy allows you, he wants you to stay in that cycle. The whole time the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, the whole time he's trying to wake you up, the whole time he's trying to show you something, the whole time he's speaking to your heart and telling you the things that you need to change and work on and you're not listening. So I'm here to tell you that if you don't suit up and get into the word of God and follow him, you're going to fall away. That's it. You're going to fall away. Many of you are getting too much word you know too much. You have a journal with things that the Lord has given to you to be at this point in time with people dropping like flies to be going, oh, I don't know. My brothers, my sisters, if you don't know now, you, you're never going to know. So I come to you humbly saying, choose, choose God. A lot of times the struggle is we just don't want to push past our habits, our comfort zone. We don't like to feel this way. But did Jesus not say that we would feel this way? Did he not tell us what was going to happen in, in um, what is it, uh, Matthew 24, I believe, 23, 24, between 23 and 25. But I believe in 24, the Lord, <laughs> this is what's going to happen. He, he speaks these things to us. So choose, my brothers and sisters. You got to stay strong. You got to hold on no matter what. You got to hold on. You got to pray no matter what. You got to say something to the Lord no matter what you feel inside. You have to speak the word of God no matter what. You have to speak against depression. You got to speak against that heavy spirit upon you. And I'm trying to tell you when the spirit of the Lord is up front and your spirit is in one accord with him, I'm trying to tell you that you can't stay in that type of a feeling, that type of a funk. So if you're feeling that way, what are you doing? Examine yourself. How much TV are you watching? How much Netflix are you watching versus how much time you're putting into the word of God? And I'm not saying Jesus is, uh, I'm not saying the Lord is telling you, oh, well, only watch this much and, and that much. The Lord will speak to you individually. But I'm here to tell you, if you find yourself falling into depression and falling away and contemplating things i'm here to tell you but then you're watching a whole lot of tv you may want to cut back on that what are you watching what are you listening to what random stuff you're listening to are you watching are you looking at all those facebook posts that's coming in and showing you who's hanging from a tree who died today who got killed you're watching the news are you getting frustrated with how they're handling this thing with the the killing of, of, of um, you know, black people. What are you listening to? You're watching sad music. You're going to bed, listening to sad songs. What are you listening to? Are you reminiscing? Are you going back over what your ex did? Are you mad? Are you, are you looking at your ex's page and who he's with? Did he or she get married? All of these things. There's so many things that's involved in here. Are you sitting listening to mess? Are you having a daily conversation with someone who's messy? If you don't get rooted in Christ, you won't make it. There's no sugarcoat in that. If you don't make that decision, you will not make it. So please decide what you're going to do, my brothers and sisters. Again, I'm no stronger than anybody else. I'm just not budging. No matter what I feel, no matter what I feel, I feel a lot of things you feel. But I know that God is giving me the word and I speak that word and I get closer to the Lord.
And sometimes when I don't feel my best, I ride it out, but I'm speaking God's word and I'm trusting God's word. I said, Lord, in my weakness, you are strong. So God, I trust, I put myself in your hands right now and I make it. I will not miss my crown. I'm not going to hell. I'm not going to let this world keep me in a place where I lose eternity with Jesus Christ. I lose the, the, the opportunity to see all that we have heard and read about, the joy unspeakable and being able to rejoice with the Lord God for all eternity. I'm not going to miss that. You have to look at it like we are here for a time. We're not going to be here forever. We don't live here. We don't belong here. You're sojourning here. Where are you going to be when you give your last breath? How will the master find you when he appears? Are you going to be sitting there being sad? And what are you going to say to him? Did he not give you everything you needed to make it? Even words of encouragement, even channels like this, even other people in your life, even him encouraging you and having done great things for you in the past. So I'm not chastising you all. You got to get up or the enemy going to come in and knock you clean off your feet. And if he can bind you, she's going to come in and get everybody else. So wake up, soldier. Get up, soldier. You can't be sleeping. You better stay on guard and stay in the word of God and stay armored up. Don't start putting your sword down. Don't start loosening the belt of your, your, your armor. It's going to cost you. All right, guys. Peace out.